Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to commit all our WordPress code to AWS Code Commit. This video is third on WordPress on AWS series. In the previous video, we learned a simple way to spin up a new EC2 instance on the AWS cloud using Elastic Beanstalk. In this video, we are going to focus on this portion of our architecture where we'll install Git in our system and we are going to download WordPress code locally in a Git repository. We'll then create AWS code commit repository and an IAM user who has access to this repository. We will finally push all our code to AWS code commit using IAM user. The first step is to download WordPress. A simple Google search leads us to its download page from which I'll visit the official wordpress.org website. Let's download the latest version from here. Once the download is complete, we'll move the downloaded file to an appropriate directory in our local file system. Let's move it to documents folder and unzip it. To push this folder on AWS code commit, we'll require git install on our system. If you don't have git installed, do a simple Google search. We'll click on the very first link from git-scm.com. Here you will get the options to download git for the operating system that you currently have. Just follow the steps. It's a relatively simple and straightforward process. We have WordPress and we have Git installed. Let's now create a repository on AWS code commit where we are going to push our local code. We are now into the AWS console. Let's search for AWS code commit in the services dropdown and head over to that section. Here we get an option to create a repository. We'll click this button. Now we'll put the repository name as myblog-repo. The description field is optional, so let's skip it for now. So that's it. It was that simple to create a repository. This page is the landing page of our repository. In the left hand side panel, we can see several options like code, pull requests from several authors, and all the last commits. Think of this page as an AWS own GitHub like private repository. The last thing that we require from this screen is the HTTPS URL of this repository. We'll scroll to the top and click on clone URL dropdown and select clone HTTPS option. This action has now copied the HTTPS repo URL on my clipboard. Let's save this URL as we would require it later to push and pull the changes. Now we need to create an IAM user who has access to push and pull code from this repository. So to create that user, let's go back to the AWS console. We will now head over to the IAM management console section. Here we have several options in the left menu from which we will go to the users section. And we will add a new user. Let's put the username as wp-git-user. Next is the access type option. We can either give this user programmatic access or console access. It doesn't matter for our tutorial because we'll only be using it as a git user. So we can select any option here. I'll choose programmatic access and hit next. In this section, we have to assign permissions to our newly created git user. We'll here click on the third option, that is, attach existing policies directly. In the policies dropdown below, search for code commit. Now we'll select AWS code commit full access policy. Let's click next and we will keep everything else to default and click create user button. We don't require these access keys for this tutorial, so we'll close the screen. Now we have created a user, let's provide git access for this user. To do that, click on the username and head over to security credentials tab. If we scroll down, we will find https git credentials for aws code commit section. 
Here we will click generate and we will get this pop-up. These are the credentials for our AWS code commit. Let's save these credentials in a file as we will require them in the next step. Now that we have got a repository, an IAM user who has access to this repository and all our initial WordPress code locally, we'll push our code to the AWS code commit. Open the terminal or command prompt and cd to the directory where you have kept your WordPress code. In my case, I'll perform a cd to documents slash WordPress folder. We will quickly hit ls command to list the directory contents and we can see that all these WordPress files that need to be committed. We'll clear the screen now. This WordPress folder isn't yet a Git repository. So we will do a Git init to convert our WordPress folder into a Git repository. Now we need to put our code commit repository as an origin of this local repository. To do this, we'll type git remote add origin followed by the git https URL that we got earlier in this tutorial. Let's copy that URL and paste it here and hit enter. To verify this, we will hit git remote show origin. So it seems that we have encountered a minor problem here. We have never interacted with this repository before. So this is asking for our credentials. Let's copy the username and password that we saved earlier in this tutorial. Once we have provided these authentication details, we can see that the fetch URL and push URL now points to our code commit repository. I'll clear the screen and we are going to perform git status to see which file needs to be committed. Initially, the whole directory is untracked. Now we will push all our code to AWS code commit. First hit git add dot. This command adds all our files to the staging area. We'll perform now git commit dash m followed by our message as first commit. So it seems that we have got a minor issue. Since I am using a new system, my email and username configuration are not present in git. It may not be case in your system. I'll quickly set these properties using this message itself as a reference and I'm going to execute these two commands. Let's try to commit it again. We will perform now git commit dash m followed by our message as first commit. The commit is successful. Now we will hit git push origin master to push all our code to AWS code commit. Once this process is complete, let's head over to AWS code commit and see what do we have there. Now we are back in AWS code commit console. Let's click on our repository. Finally, we can see that all our code is here. So that's all for this video. In this tutorial, we downloaded WordPress and installed Git in our local. We created a new repository on AWS code commit and created an IAM user who has access to this repository. Then we pushed our local WordPress code to the remote code commit repository. So as of now, we have an EC2 server serving the client's request and an AWS code commit repository having our WordPress code. In the next tutorial, we'll focus on this portion of our architecture and we are going to create a bridge between these two by using AWS code pipeline. This pipeline is going to be triggered whenever there is a change in our code commit repository. The changes will be pushed to the EC2 instance that we had created in the earlier tutorial through the pipeline. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.